Hi there, my crafty friends. It's Ashley Pfeiffer, the maker behind Stamp DF. I have, hold that thought. It is Wednesday, July 3rd. It is 7.30 on the dot. Uh, I have creative chaos going on on my desk. I have a very good idea of what it is we're doing. Um, and that's about it. Um, so that's progress, right? Just gonna pull this up on my iPad and share it. That was the smoothest introduction I've ever done, right? You can tell, um, on my YouTube channel, you can tell why most times I just wave and say, hello, my crafty friends. <laughs> it's to avoid hashtag awkward. Where am I? I actually posted a few times on my Facebook page today. One of those was um, that I am starting a new stamp club. So if you are interested in building your stash for a mere $35 a month, then just send me an email or send me a messenger. Um, just contact me in whatever way suits you. Uh, what else did I share? That I'm going live tonight. A uh, little bit of housekeeping before I flip this around and get our craft on. It is July, which means it is bonus days, and I will tell you, I have bingo next Thursday evening. Two spots available, just two. So if you're in Winnipeg and watching this, and it's not um, July 11th, then send me a message. I'd love to have you at my bingo. It's at my house. It's going to be casual. It's going to be fun. There's going to be great prizes. There's a goodie bag, so everyone is guaranteed to go home with something. Um, sorry. Uh, hi Karma, thank you for watching, for watching, joining, watching, watching. Um, so yeah, bingo next Thursday night, great prizes. I am just waiting for an order to arrive so I can make some super cute little name plates, something like that. Um, what else is there? So July, uh, for every $6.00 that would be quite the deal. For every $60 you spend before shipping and taxes, you earn $6 in bonus days coupons, which you can redeem in August. So my sizable order that's going in for bingo is going to have quite the bonus days in August. So if you were planning on spending anyways, it's great, but if you wanna have just a little bit to spend in August, because remember, if you are a demonstrator, you get to pre-order from the holiday catalog and you wanna be able to use the some savings, right? Um, with July also, for July and August, if you join Stampin' Up, you get extra, extra. <laughs> I feel like I should be doing jazz hands. Um, so in both of those months, it's all summer, you choose $205 in product. This is in Canada. I can only have people join my team that live in Canada, that's my market. So if you live in the US or Australia or anywhere else, you can find a demo in your area. And if you are just joining me and you are not a demonstrator, because I think many of the people that watch are, uh, uh, if you're looking for a demonstrator in any of those markets, let me know and I can recommend somebody. Um, so yeah, if you join, you choose $205 in product and you pay only $135 plus one tax and free shipping. And isn't that awesome? And then in August, you get a $14 coupon to use again on product. So you could probably use that on your pre-order. I don't think that there are any limitations to it. Um, so it's win-win. And then you get to join my crafted AF team. Um, anyways, I think that is all the housekeeping. So I'm gonna flip this down and uh, oops, I forgot to thank you so much for doing that, Wendy. It's still always weird when you um, <laughs> say good morning because it's 7.35 p.m. But then it's also tomorrow there, right? I just want to share this. Share it to my group. Okay, shared. Sorry, one more. Um, okay. Now, 
truly ready to get our craft done. So I'm gonna hide this mess that I have created. I have been struggling to try and come up with a design using Praiseworthy Pros and this denim ribbon all afternoon. So I've been working and trying to think about how I was gonna do it because I haven't used it yet. And it's so cute. I mean, it's ribbon, it's denim. It's awesome. It's super thin too. Like if this was a pair of jeans, this would be your favorite pair of jeans that is like just hanging on. Like it's got holes everywhere and they're so comfortable. It's like wearing nothing. Anyways, let's flip this around. Hi, Heather. Thank you for watching. I almost hit finish. Okay, so just cover your eyes for a second. I wish there was a way that I could do this without having to flip it and then tighten it. Sorry. Okay, so we are going to use the Praiseworthy Pros stamp set and a couple of the letters. Uh, in case you missed it, this is my product of the week. So if you order this with me this week, and it's only $72.75 plus taxes and shipping, um, but you can add it to my next order and uh, you can pay 10% shipping instead of a flat rate, um, $9.95. Uh, if you order this, you will get my July online class for free. So that is the video and the written PDF. And um, it's awesome. You're getting six cards for the price of, well, if you're getting a bundle, you're getting it for free. So you're for the price of nothing. So how can you go wrong? Um, but we are, it's going to be six cards instead of the normal five. Awesome, right? Okay, so I'm not going to let you see the design that I have come up with. We are just going to do it. So I'm using the Artfully Aware stamp set. And I'm so sorry about the glare. I've got laminated grid paper here. Um, Artfully Aware. And this is Janet Wakelin's million dollar stamp set. We're going to use Night and Navy. This is one of the maybe 10 pads that I haven't gotten the new style of. It's on my list, but there are just so many awesome products that keep pushing it down further on the list. Who's with me? Is your wish list so big that you just, you, you're still chipping away at it? Because I am. So if you are, and this is a shameless plug, I know, I already said it. Um, I am starting a new stamp club. It's going to be continuous, so there's no start, there's no end. Uh, for every six months you belong to it, you will get uh, $25 in product of your choice. Karma says never ending. Heather says, yep, I am too. It's a struggle. Okay, I'm gonna give this a few minutes to dry. We are going to take a little scrap of Seaside Spray and I'm going to use the Friendship Stamp. I'm just going to move this so hopefully it covers that glare. I didn't cover all of it. I'm waiting for it to catch up on my iPad because I'm sitting and sitting on my foot and being too lazy to get up. I want to come up with a way that I can laminate these and use them as like reusable grid paper without the constant glare. And I don't know how to do that. There must be some kind of matte laminate, right? Laminate? Or is that only flooring? I feel like that's only flooring. Okay, I think we're, no, we're not done with that yet. We are going to use the fantastic brand new brick and mortar 3D embossing folder. So I have a piece of the Seaside Spray that is right now four and a quarter by five and a half. But I need to cut that down because I want to match this with a piece of Night of Navy. And that, because this grid paper doesn't have measurements on it, is five and a quarter by four. So we need to take this down to five by three and three quarters. There's so much stuff on here right now, it is stressing me out. So while I do this, let's chat, shall we? 
um, tell me what you're watching on Netflix. I would love to know because I just started a new series yesterday after needing one for a little bit. I'm just going to take a smidge off of that side. Take it down to five and uh, an eighth. Not quite. So what are you binge watching on Netflix right now? Inquiring minds want to know. Okay, that is awesome. Now I'm going to do this. And this is one of the new 3D embossing folders. So, if you have ordered it or it's on your wish list and you do not, sorry, I'm just trying to get it straight, and you have not yet ordered the 3D embossing plate, then you really need to add that to your next order because that is what will work with this folder. Just going to run it through. I'm not going to bring the big shot in because there's enough going on. Uh, now, from what I hear, my fellow Stamping Society design team member, Kelly Atchison, says that if you don't have this uh, folder, you can use six pieces of cardstock as a shim, and that will work. But keep in mind that everyone's big shot is different. They're all kind of calibrated differently. So this would be super fun backwards or forwards, front or back. Isn't that cute? Like a nice soft blue brick wall. Okay, so you were watching something on Netflix. What is someone watching? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Now, the only problem with having done this is that it's going to be quite a bit of seaside spray on here, but let's figure that out. We may end up matting that too. Oh, thank you. There's no comments coming up. So Jenny says Lucifer. I've seen the, like the cover for that, but I haven't looked into it to see what it is. Peaky Blinders has a new season. Hmm. I heard that um, Stranger Things, the next season is coming on Netflix soon. I cannot wait for Atypical love that show and I don't know if it's because my son has a developmental delay and um, I kind of relate to the whole family or what it is but if you have not watched Atypical oh my goodness there's only two seasons on Netflix and I have watched both seasons twice maybe even three times love it yeah I think we're going to have to map that my name at, uh, what am I going to do? I think if we mat it, we're going to use something from the underside. Skizzers. Heather's watching Orange is the New Black, Ozark. I want to know when um, the next 13 Reasons is coming on. Let's see, I was hoping I could kind of cover the fact that I've already cut some letters out of there, but no, I cannot. So let's just take a little bit out of the middle here. I think I'm just going, this ought to be big enough. I'm going to take that and cut it. This light is really being troll, isn't it? Let's turn it off. That's it's a little orangey. That doesn't help. Ah. Let's take the next size up because I have a feeling this is going to be too small. And pretty much the whole mat is covered anyways. I'd rather have more than cut it too close. Kathleen, it is seaside spray. 
I like balmy blue, but I like that this has kind of, um, I don't know, like a mauve type feel to it. Look, feel, whatever. Okay, so that will cover that up perfectly. No one outside of those watching this will be any the wiser. I don't think I'm going to hang on to this stitching because it's going to be just too difficult. So this is one by two and five eighths. So let's go to there. Put the stitching on both sides. You like that measurement? How about there. So, the show I just started watching yesterday was Jane the Virgin, because there are some ladies at work that just have, they rave about how funny it is. So, I'm on like episode four, and I would have to agree, it is pretty funny. So, if you haven't checked that out, you should. Oh, Hubby and I are also watching Schitt's Creek. Hilarious. I love Daniel Levy. My biggest fear with watching that show is I'm going to start making some of the faces that they make. <laughs> I guess it's not the worst thing in the world, but oh, I just love it. And it's funny because he's watched it on CBC before and he's like, oh, you've got to watch this show. It's so funny. And I'm like, meh. But when you start right from the get-go watch the pilot and keep going it is hilarious but for me i need to be invested right karen yes gray tint i just i like that it's not like a just a blue <laughs> i'm using so many descriptive terms tonight kathleen marty loves the joke you should give it a try but right from the beginning I know for me, I can't do it if it's not right from the beginning. Okay, I have a card base somewhere. Or not. I do, I do. Now I think <laughs> I've got more room I've got less room than I think I have because this is going to take up quite a bit. Wouldn't it have been smart if I had measured that to the card before I glued it on? Yeah, I don't want to go that way. I like to live dangerously. I'll put that right there. Okay, I feel like this needs to be matted too. Now, the other thing I should do before I do that is we're going to use a blender pen. And if you haven't used these, you don't have them in your stash, you are missing out. Look at this. I'll color the hair on the wall. This is the CEO of Stampin' Up, Sarah Douglas. She posed for that picture. Okay, now before I did their necks, and it looked kind of weird, so I'm just going to do their sweaters. And then I'll go back. I'm going to start with the men's. You've got to kind of follow the trail of arms. Okay, so that is, well, let's go in here. So let's do Sarah's sweater, this lady's sweater. Now we are going to grab some of that Knight of Navy and we are going to make Sarah's sweater darker. Just have to grab a little bit. 
your sleeve. And this is so that we don't end up with just like a sea of all the same blue. I made a card like this a few months ago and I used, um, I think I probably used blender pens, but I used different shades of blue so that no two people had the same sweater, so to speak. Oh, Jenny says the good witch. I don't know why my comments aren't coming up. Oh, wow. Movies from the 30s and 40s. I don't, can't even say that I'm, I know any. What are some? We'll leave that there. Now that this has some more navy on it, how's it gonna go? This is gonna go right to the edge, isn't it? I'm gonna pop this up just a little with my bone folder. Just kind of get under there and then pry it up a little. This is instead of the dental floss trick. I'm gonna cut, crop it a little bit closer. And then crop that closer. Tiny little bend there, but it's not the end of the world. I'm glad you like it, Karen. I do too. So now that I've cropped that side a little closer, I'm going to crop the top and the bottom a little closer. This probably will be easier with scissors, but I want to ensure that it's straight. I'm going to use longer scissors. I don't know if you've ever heard this trick. I think this is a Jennifer McGuire thing, but if you use longer scissors, it's easier to get a straight line all the way across. Now I've cropped it closer, so I'm going to have to do it on this side. And this side. recovering perfectionist besides me. I want things to be perfect, but I also know that it's impossible, next to impossible, so I don't strive for it anymore, but boy, I would love for things to be perfect. Okay, now I've already cut these letters out, so this was this is the product of the week. It's praise words, praise or the pros, <laughs> and those are the letters. I'm not going to cut them out again because I already have them. But, I'm kind of thinking if we put them down there, let's glue on the mats because that's driving me crazy. So this is Tombow in this little container. I just poured it in from one of my Tombow containers because it drives me nuts that you can't see how much is left. And this gives you a nice, super fine tip. Now, before I tie, before I tie, before I glue that down, I'm going to, I think I'm gonna tie it around here. So I don't wanna glue that on quite yet. Let's decide. I kind of like it like that. Now, I could skip the friendship altogether and, nope, don't like that. <laughs> the friendship could go on the inside. So I feel like we've got so many things going on right now. What do we think of that? That is what I had envisioned but there's also, you're not gonna see any of the ribbon this way. Let's take this part off now that I've spent so much time working on that. You get to be part of the design process. Okay, now if we tie a knot there and we have us down there and then we stamp friendship on the inside, kinda like that. 
This makes it look like a work of art. Art? I cannot speak. A work of art, and this is just the title of it. No, oh, I think we're going to put that on the inside. Okay, let's cut a length of this. I'm telling you, this is so soft, you won't believe it. If you have not thought of this denim ribbon yet, I think it's part of the Dino Roar suite of products, which are so cute, and I really have to keep convincing myself not to get it because I don't have enough applications for it. But it's so stinking cute. And that DSP, so this is part of that suite. And I'll try and share some more ways to use it coming up. Now, what I'm going to do is we're not going to have a whole bunch of this tied back there. I want it to shine. Makes me think of Dirty Dancing. No one puts baby in the corner. No one puts ribbon on the back. Oh, another Netflix thing that I have been, not binging, but watching on repeat is the Nicholas Sparks movie, The Choice. I love it. I am obsessed. My daughter's like, seriously, Mom, again? How many times are you going to watch this? How many times have you watched it already? I don't know what it is, but I just, I love it. That and A Quiet Place. I just love John Krasinski and the fact that he's working with his wife. Adorbs. Just cut your little tails at an angle, more of an angle. I feel so bad wasting this, but I do have a full roll. And what do you want to bet that by the time the next annual catalog comes along, I'm still going to have some of this, unless I create some huge project where I need a ton of it. Okay. Do it like that. These cute little pieces can serve as one of those at some point on a future project. There we go. I'm going to pop this up on dimensionals. I'm not sure why I did that. It's been a weird week. Last Tuesday I found out that my position was being deleted at work and that I was going to be moved to another department. So I finally found out more yesterday. It's been a fun week sitting with that. Um, so it's all good, but I'm in my current department for another three weeks, which is all right. I just kind of wish it were happening right away. I'm a little impatient and I'm instant gratification. So this is going to be a long three weeks, I think. Look, you can fray this ribbon a little bit, or a lot. I don't want mine frayed. Karma, I work for um, a union. Ironically, it was the union that had to tell me that my position was being deleted. So I was doing accounts payable for the last six and a half years, and now I will not be. Which is, I guess, both a good and bad thing, because I mean, when I was just sitting there entering my payables, I could sit and dream about what I was going to do Stampin' Up!-wise that evening. And I think I'm going to be too busy to be able to do that. And it's a lateral move. I mean, there's no extra money in it. But it is a seat, and at the end of the day, that is what I need. And one day, sorry if my head, whoops, head's in the shot here. One day, I will be doing Stampin' Up! full time. So it will be a non issue. I don't know how many days away that is. <laughs> Methinks a lot. 
I'm almost done, Jenny. Just going to attach these letters and then restamp that. Um, oh yeah, it's July Fourth coming up, isn't it? Um, happy. Is it? It's Independence Day, right? Oh my goodness. Brain fart. We just had Canada Day. Happy July Fourth. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna adhere this. I'm going to pop this up on dimensionals as well because that little bit of ribbon will create a weird kind of bump there. So yes, my goal, not my dream, but my goal is to be doing Stampin' Up! full time. That will be my day job. My passion job. So, um, I've only been doing this, it's two years, July 31st, so awesome. I have, I'm very close to hitting two goals. One is the next title promotion, and I need uh, someone who's running it as a business or someone to recruit underneath me. Uh, and I am super close to hitting the Flex Point Accelerator which is basically what you need in order to earn the achievement trips, which many demonstrators are leaving for now. They're going on the Greece incentive trip. So my goal is to make the next one. I was hoping for Maui, but I, am, I would need like five times the points of what I have right now. But I did not hit the 10,000 CSV mark last year. So the fact that I am even close to it is awesome and I have all of my amazing customers and team members to thank for that so thank you all thank you thank you thank you thank you for every time you've watched a video and shared even though that's a bad word thank you for everything uh, friendship <coughs> now you could use whatever sentiment you want in here that could be the family because there is one that says family protectors and guardians a source of love connection and kinship celebrate to commemorate with festivities a happy day rejoice with merriment there's like so many I think the only one you wouldn't do in here would be bundle of joy but you can literally snap whichever sentiment you would like my knight of navy is in need of being re-inked hopefully that that is not straight at all <laughs> now you could also really stamp these guys stamped off but I think I am good with it like that so that is super crooked but I think if I write on the inside I'll write crooked and it'll look like it was um, oh my goodness what's the word intentional Ooh, the words are so hard um, okay, so that is all my crafty friends. Uh, I thank you for hanging in there with me. It's been just over half an hour. Um, and like I said, those uh, bonus days are on. So for every $60 you spend, you get $6 next month to redeem on product. And if you join my team in July and August, you can choose I believe it's $40 more because usually you pay $135 and you choose $165. So yeah, you're choosing $40 more. So you get tons of product for $135 and you will get a $14 coupon in August. And you'll be part of my Crafted AF team. And we have monthly meetings, we have a private Facebook group, and we're all kind of learning as we go and learning as we grow so it's a great team and i would love to welcome you to it thank you so much for joining me my crafty friends and i'll see you next wednesday bye